Hello, my name is Cesar Santiago. I'm a colorectal surgeon. Uh, I practice in St. Joseph Hospital in Tampa, and I also serve as the medical director of the Advanced Center for Robotic Surgery. Basically, the big majority of patients that come to see me uh, are the ones that uh, get diagnosed with really low rectal cancers or pathology of the very deep confines of the pelvis. And of course, for obvious reasons, these patients are actually looking for an alternative to a permanent uh, colostomy bag or what we call stoma bags. Uh, certainly enough, we get uh, these low rectal cancers in traditional surgery and traditional laparoscopy. Uh, these patients are actually doomed to have a permanent colostomy. So all these patients that come to see me are basically looking for a better alternative uh, in terms or an alternative to a colostomy. As a colorectal surgeon, in my uh, area of expertise of actual interest is mainly rectal cancer. So when I was doing these cases laparoscopically, it was really obvious to me all the limitations of laparoscopy had. And that's what led me to make this transition to robotics. It's just looking for a better alternative and better oncologic outcomes on these particular uh, patients, including the low rectal cancers or even any kind of pelvic pathology. That's what actually led me to robotics. Most of these patients have been to probably one, two, three, or four surgeons, and they're always coming for second opinions until they get to you and say, well, you know what? We can possibly, with this technology, I'll be able to spare your sphincter muscles and probably you will not need a bag, at least for the rest of your life. Maybe a temporary one until the surgery heals, but not a permanent one. And, and, this, and this is what really is making a big difference. With this technology, you can basically be so precise in your dissections that you can even separate the whole rectum from the sphincter complex completely and spare them the muscles and be able to reconstruct it. But the other technologies, although feasible and doable, are extremely challenging and you have to be a very skilled, talented surgeon. But sometimes the anatomy of the patients are just prohibitive and will not allow you to do that. With this uh, technology, again, you're able to work in really, really small spaces, being really precise, just because of the wristed instrumentation. And if you can actually separate tumor from normal tissue and not have to take the normal tissue along with the tumor because you can't get to it, that translates into a significantly higher uh, sphincter sparing surgery. And that's why we strive here in St. Joe's and that's basically my main area of interest is rectal cancer, especially intersphincter proctectomies, which actually were so low in the pelvis that we're separating the anal muscles from each other to render your patient free of cancer. It's really key, especially when doing rectal cancer operations, that the first operation needs to be almost as close to perfect as possible. And then with the robotic platform, you're allowed to be more precise and with traditional laparoscopy, that's gonna translate into less recurrences and better oncologic outcomes. And uh, in the literature, if we were to review and compare laparoscopy or laparoscopic proctectomies with robotic proctectomies, you see that the, uh, the rate of positive circumferential margins when you do rectal cancer surgery robotically is way less than laparoscopically. And in rectal cancer, your circumferential margins are key in order for you not to have recurrences and in order for you to cure your patients. So it, it, what I was alluding to, let's say your first shot is your best shot at actually beating this. That, that's the beauty of minimally invasive surgery. It's not the small incisions. It's just being less traumatic to the body. And that would allow for quicker and better recovery. It's really important that in order to get proficient doing these cases, that in order to have good results, you have to really have volume. So high volume centers are, it's been in, and it's seen and it's in the literature already, the higher volume centers have better outcomes. So not only surgeons come to see you and learn from us, but also you have patient referrals because they know we do a lot of this. And the more you do, it's like everything in life, the better you get. Uh, so our patients actually just get that benefit. It becomes a referral center. And uh, we have really phenomenal, not only operative care, but only in the post-op period, which is actually really important. All the nurses already know what we do and what we really like, what we don't like, and then that really helps you to have good outcomes. But that's really important for the patient. You go up to places where they're really familiar with the technology, they are so familiar and comfortable with it, and they get such good results that we are actually in a position that we can teach it to other people. So if you can teach a technique, that usually means that you master it significantly. So now St. Joseph Hospital is one of the few uh, colorectal surgery epicenters in the nation.